Hi everybody, it's Patty, Rockstar Mom. Welcome to my channel. I am over the moon today to be able to do a Get Ready With Me featuring the brand spanking new, newest addition to e.l.f. Cosmetics Camo line called their Camo Powder Foundation. And I want to thank e.l.f. for partnering with me today to provide these products for you. Thank you, e.l.f. Let me tell you a little bit about this. You know, I think for some of us, we've used e.l.f. Cosmetics forever. I know one of my favorites is the Brow Pencil. I've been using this, and it's probably my go-to every day, dress up, whatever, eyebrow pencil. Uh, I, I love this. I love the Camo Hydrating Concealer. So it was only natural that I would want to try the new Camo Powder Foundation to see if I really did like it, that if it, if it really stood up and matched those products that I already love and use pretty much every single day. And it, it didn't steer me wrong. Real quickly, let me just tell you a little bit about this. It's non-comedogenic, meaning that it will not clog your pores. The foundation is so light, it feels like my skin is just airbrushed. It's crease-resistant, talc-free. It just leaves a flawless, flawless finish on all skin types and tones. By the way, I am very normal, leaning dry, getting a little bit drier, it seems like, every day as I age. And this is available in 30 shades, so for sure it's going to match almost every single skin tone. And would you believe it's only $11? $11. Let me say, too, that it's very buildable, full coverage, semi matte, semi-matte, and a natural finish. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to list every single item that I'm using, especially the Camo Powder Foundation, in the show more below. And I hope that you'll go down when the video is over and just check, check everything out. Click on the links, especially to the foundation, and find your shade, give it an order, try it, and let me know if you like it as much as I do. If you're already using this foundation, I'd like to know that too in the comments. So with all that being said, let's get started with the Get Ready With Me. Okay, let's go. First of all, before I use the Camo uh, Powder Foundation, I'm going to use the Camo Hydrating Concealer. I love this stuff, and I have such horrible sun damage on the sides of my face, and especially under my eyes, I have the darkness. I'm going to use just a little bit of this to, to just to cover this. I'm so used to doing it. And again, like I said, it's going to be just, just where it truly needs to be covered. And I'm just going to very lightly blend that in. love this stuff. I know many, many, many of you do too. Alrighty, the Camo Powder Foundation. <laughs> Let me tell you that when I ordered this, I ordered a shade just a little bit darker than I would wear right now. I live in the Panhandle of Florida, and it's starting to get sunny here. We're starting to have a few 70 degree days, so I know spring and summer is going to be right behind us. And I wanted to color that. I well, that would work for me when uh, I do start to be out in the sun a lot more, and I'll be getting a lot of color, so this will be a perfect color for me. Now, I love to use a flat top brush with my powder foundations, and I'm going to use it for this one too, although it does come with a little sponge if you want to apply it that way. You can apply it however works best for you. Now, I am not going to swirl this around. I'm going to just pat it on my brush and then pat it and buff it into my skin. You'll see. So again, just 
get foundation on, oops, foundation on my brush. And I'm going to start over in the corner on the side of my face because you know wherever I put this brush down first is where I'm going to get the highest concentration of, of foundation. So I'm going to start over here and start off by just, and you can see I'm looking over here in my mirror, and I have this mirror too, so I'm going to dot it on and then sort of buff buff it into my skin. One thing I like about this foundation is it's buildable. You can start off truly with just a little bit and then build on that. It's so lightweight, almost airbrush. This foundation has been lasting all day for me. I think I've been wearing it every day for almost a week. Last all day. Oh, did I mention that it is vegan, cruelty-free, all over the world? Certainly that's something that's important to so many of us. A little bit more because I'm barely tapping or just pressing into my compact. I'm not collecting a lot on my brush so I can go back in and get more if I need it. Starting over on the side out of the way and then buffing it in. For me personally, buffing it into my skin just gives a really nice look. To my skin. I'm going to do under my chin and down to my neck because, I, again, I don't want my face to be one color and my neck to be another color. See my red nose. up into my hairline, especially since this is a little bit darker right now. Okay, I'm going to stop with the foundation right there because uh, when I finish everything else, I'll do a little tuning and tweaking, but I think that's a good place to, a good place to stop. And again, it's hard to tell you how soft my skin feels. I know you probably can't see it, you can't tell it, but it is just so soft. I love it. Okay, let's start with our brows. And again, for any of you who have been watching me for a long time, you know that the brow, uh, the e.l.f. brow pencil is absolutely one of my favorites. I'm wearing this, I think, in... I should know, but I always just order the same thing. Uh, this is uh, blonde. So. Brows, brows, 
The next thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to have to look in this mirror here, is I'm going to use the retractable black um, eyeliner. And I'm going to do my tight line. And how I do it is I just gently lift my eye so that I can get up under there. This will make my eyelashes look longer, and you can probably already tell that this side looks much longer than this side, and thicker. You know, as we mature, and I know those of you who are getting older know this, it's almost like every day. Every day, our skin changes somewhat. We have lines and wrinkles where we never had them before. We had have age spots, sun spots, where we've never had them before. Oh, me. Uh, but you know what? We're alive. We are alive. I'm going to use the little e.l.f. Uh, bite size eyeshadow, and I'm using the rose water, and I'm probably only going to use one color in this, and that's this one. It's just a, a matte rose color, sort of a dusty pink, and again, just tapping, not rubbing, but tapping and knocking off, and... We can always add more, but it's really hard to add or to take away. I like this foundation because you can really build on it and have a much more glam look, or you can use it very lightly and have a more, oh, I don't know, um, more natural look. Okay, take my pencil again, and I'm going to just align the out, the upper lid outside corners. I hear birds chirping outside. Can you hear them? I know spring is coming. Okay. I'm going to use the Elf. Big Mood Mascara in Black. And I really do like this. You can tell that I've been using this mascara because, guess what? The wand is bent. I always bend that wand. So let's get this mascara on. What's the weather like today where you are? I know that there's another cold front going through the middle of the, st uh, the country. I think some ice and sleet and snow maybe. Hopefully you're staying warm. It started off here very foggy, but it's going to be in the low 70s today. Great eyelashes. I'll let you see them. Good stuff. Okay. I think I'm going to go back to my face and... We'll do some blush. And I'm using the e.l.f. Uh, blush in Blushing.
again, I like putting on just a little bit of everything and then adding to it as I need to. Go back in with my pencil and line my lower lids. It really is a much quicker video when I don't talk all the time. When, I, when I'm doing a get ready with me and just not talk. Do the get ready. I'm going to use a little bit more of the uh, e.l.f. Camo Foundation. And I'm just going to use the same brush that I was using. And we'll blend this. I'm going to go back in with my camo concealer and just lighten up and do this a little bit. Go back in with my brush because this is what I do. Brighten up the center of my face. And as you can see, I'm able to use this cream on top of the uh, e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. It just works. And then I'm going to use my Stay All Night Blue Light Micro Setting Mist by e.l.f. I've been using this for maybe a month now, and I really do like it. I don't. I don't use it really to for staying power because this foundation does last all day. Uh, but I just use it to set everything. And the mist is super fine. I never have any of the water droplets where it just big clumps of mist comes out on my skin. Okay, let's do lips. I am using the e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stain. I'm looking at the name of it in Berry Queen. Look at this color. It's a beautiful color. I think it goes really well with this top I'm wearing. Gosh, I think that's it. What do you think? I love it. I love it. I know that this is going to be great all day long. Just tune and tweak, tune and tweak. I want to thank e.l.f. for partnering with me on this video and providing all of the e.l.f. cosmetics, including the new Camo Powder Foundation. I am truly enjoying wearing this so very much. 
uh, go down below this video in the show more. Make sure you check out down there, especially the Camo Powder Foundation. I think you'll love it as much as I do, especially if you're mature like I am and have aging skin. So again, thanks, Elf. And thank you. Thank each and every one of you for watching. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. Don't forget to go out and be kind. Just be kind. Know that I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.